Massad Flipper. How to import a flipper into the software and 3D print. Start by selecting the new build option when the program loads. Next, locate the preferred printer for use. Select the material to use for the print. If this is a permanent piece, use the Dentka Denture Teeth. If it's a temporary piece, the Dentka Denture Try-In may be better. For this exam, the denture teeth will be used, since it's a monolithic flipper. After choosing the material, select the layer thickness to print. 50 micron layers will take longer to print, but will have a higher surface quality and resolution to the build. 100 micron layers will be a faster print, but will have a lower quality surface detail. Select your thickness, then hit OK. The next step is to import the STL files to use. Click the Add Parts icon in the top left corner of the builder. Hit Select Files and choose the objects to print. Select Open and then Open again. You can now see the flipper to be printed in the build box. If printing more than one flipper, right click and select Clone. When printing a unique structure like a flipper, there are two ways to support the print on the build plate. The first is to arrange the structure horizontally, with the intaglio surface facing away from the build plate, or the structure can be placed vertically. Right-click on the print and hold to rotate the structure into the right position. Reminder that if the print turns purple, it means it's currently in a position off the build plate and will not print properly. Always make sure the structures are properly placed inside the box. Place the vertically aligned piece on a slight angle to help with the placement of supports. From here, the supports can be applied. Select the Generate Supports tab in the Builder menu and select Apply. Once applied, the build plate can be rotated on screen to check integrity of the print job because the supports are very small. This allows for little scarring to be left behind when removing supports from the build. Notice that the print structure placed vertically has less supports than the horizontally placed print. This will lead to less finishing for the vertically placed print. Check all sides of the build to ensure the whole print job is inside the dimensions of the build area. After ensuring the print job is ready, the next step is to submit the job to the printer. Click the build icon in the menu bar. The build wizard window will open. First job is an outline of the print job parameters and the material being used, along with a place to add a batch number if needed. Click next. If this build is using the same information as the previous build, the print optimization buttons may already be selected. If not, make sure the fast print mode is checked on. The build time for this print is estimated to be 1 hour 34 minutes and 22 seconds. If the fast time mode is disabled, the build time becomes 2 hours 49 minutes and 36 seconds. Next, make sure the base plate thickness is at least 0.4 mm thick and the supported parts only option is checked, then select next. The advanced parameters page will now appear. No settings on this page can be adjusted. Click Next again to view the Summary page. Located on the Summary page is a section to name the build you are about to send to the printer. After naming the print, press Send Build to send the job to the printer. A warning may pop up saying the model may contain a certain number of duplicated facets. Just hit Ignore. Once the build is finished being sent to the printer, select View Slices. Here you can view the layers being sent to the printer and ensure nothing is missing and no mistakes have been made in designing a flipper. <music>